patient's request for medical assistance in dying often comes at a time of enormous psychological or physical suffering, and it has the potential to create conflict uh, among family members if they hold differing opinions about the care plan. I think inviting family members to be a part of the conversations about MAID early on is important uh, to explore the family's perception of MAID um, and also how the patient's illness has affected the family members. It's also an opportunity to discuss the idea of patient autonomy and how a substitute decision maker can support a competent patient who maintains capacity to consent to treatment. Inviting key family members to be present for the MAID eligibility assessment uh, allows family members to better understand why a patient has requested MAID uh, and to gain a more nuanced understanding of the nature of the patient's suffering. Ultimately, I think it's, uh, it's key to ensure that the family understands what to expect throughout the entire MAID process and to give them permission to be involved as little or as much as they feel comfortable. A complicated grief can arise from unresolved conflict and so it's important to involve the interdisciplinary team to ensure that the spiritual and the psychosocial needs of the family are met. Uh, also bereavement supports after the patient has died uh, are very important to offer closure to the family.